We're talking to Pete Moose, who is the uh, product manager for the Smart brand, the new electric uh, version of the Smart. And we've just uh, driven some of the Smart cars in uh, Brooklyn here, the electric version of it. The company plans to bring 250 of them into the U.S. in uh, it was like seven or eight different uh, markets. People will be able to lease them. When does that program start exactly? Well, uh, actually, the program started uh, last year in Europe. And well, I meant in the U.S. We're moving into the U.S. in fall this year. And uh, it, it's something like a, a mix of consumers and corporations will be able to lease them? Um, we, th we expect a mix of about 80% fleet and 20% consumers, but we are not absolutely fixed on that. Uh, it's, uh, a, a reserv we were working with, our colleagues are working with a reservation system for first come, first serve. And around the world, there's 1,500 of them. Where, where do you see, if just looking at the world as a whole, where do you see the biggest markets for EVs right now? Uh, the biggest markets for EVs, I mean, basically the U.S., of course, being a very big market, uh, is a high potential. In Europe, it's France and uh, England, uh, U.K. Um, there are, uh, there's a big potential in China, but I'm afraid not for foreign companies. Actually, I would think it would be interesting, uh, particularly in France, where you have such a large nuclear uh, generation, you get the cleanest well-to-wheels analysis. Uh, of the EV. Yes, well, uh, the French say um, we have this clean uh, nuclear energy, let's use it for driving. When you say that to Germans, they faint because uh, we have a totally different approach to nuclear energy there. But uh, the fact is that there, has, there is a strong political will in uh, France since 20 years um, to drive electrically. And uh, so that means that there are programs that I'm think will very much make sure that by 2012 they have anything between 50,000 and 100,000 cars on the road. My impression is that the Germans on the whole prefer diesels. Is there going to be a hard le learning curve to get uh, the German people into uh, battery cars like the smart EV? Uh, customers are very motivated by money, of course. And uh, if I think of the U.S., for instance, what greatly helps is that uh, $7,500 tax uh, um, benefit, uh, or if you're in California, add that another $5,000 to it. In Germany, you have no benefit, so I think it's going to be a slow process. In France, uh, for any uh, registered uh, electric vehicle, the state gives you a cash bonus of 5,000 euros. In England, it's five or 6,000 pounds, so this uh, is a totally different motivation. That's why I expect France and UK to be the biggest markets in Europe for the next years. Are there plans to electrify other Mercedes-Benz vehicles? I recall a very nice uh, electric version of the A-Class that you had shown some years ago. Yes, well, that uh, project uh, died, unfortunately, but there will be an electrified A-Class, and as a matter of fact, uh, the rollout of these, this small series will start uh, this year. Um, there are uh, a lot of other plans uh, that I don't want to go into in detail, but what I can say is that the Daimler is on the passenger car and also on the truck side. Let's not forget Daimler is a big uh, producer of uh, uh, commercial vehicles. Um, we will cover the whole bouquet of what is possible in alternative uh, driving, uh, among uh, which is also um, we will have different stages of hybridization. We will have uh, other Mercedes cars that will be electrified. Um, we will work also with range extenders. The, the whole uh, range of possibilities will be explored until also fuel cell vehicles, which basically are electric vehicles. The only difference is they don't take the energy from a battery, but from a fuel cell. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.